YouTube. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're going to talk about this body count really matter. This is something I really try to stay away from. I don't normally talk about this kind of stuff. I know it's a popular talking point, but sometimes I find it kind of stupid. It's kind of ridiculous to always talk about does a body count matter. Because at the end of the day, sometimes your body count, a guy can say a body count matters, but that he there's nothing he could do, do about his body count. Does that make sense? Hold on one second. I like that beat though. See, the thing is, is, anytime I think about body count, it's like when a guy says that the body count matters to him, most of the time it's because the guy himself doesn't get that many bodies because he has no choice. I mean, think about that. When you hear guys say, oh man, she can't have this many bodies, is the guy himself able to get bodies like that? Listen. I'm a huge proponent of waiting till marriage. I'm just trying to get the same logic out there why men would turn down a woman for her body count when it's the fact that he had no choice but to have a low body count. I'm just against that. Like for me to say, man, if a girl has more than 10 bodies, that's stupid because I, I don't get bodies. Okay? Back when I was living my crazy life, I couldn't have sex with any girl that just walked by me who just, I, it wasn't like I could get a ton of bodies. So it's not like I, I had a choice. It's a lot different. Like if I had had, let's say I could sleep with any girl I wanted to, do you think I'd have more than three, four bodies? Of course I would. I was a deviant guy back then, okay? I was living crazy. I was moving mad, man. Um, so I don't understand when guys say, mention anything about body count. Now, to move forward on this, if we're talking about, if we're talking about marriage, hold on. If we're talking about marriage, um, and getting towards that place. Um, does body count matter if you're looking for a wife? Let's say you're you're done with your sexual ways and you're finally you're, you're pure living and stuff like that. <sighs> I think it matters to a degree, and I mean it can't not matter at all because if you messed up and had sex with one person and you meet a girl who's had sex with a hundred guys. Maybe she was a stripper. Maybe she was an escort. I think that does have to be taken into consideration. I don't think that that woman doesn't deserve anybody, but I don't think she could, she should be able to just get anybody just because, you know, there is consequences to your action. If you want to go sleep with a hundred men, cool, but you shouldn't, that, that shouldn't be forced up on another man to be like, oh, you just got to accept my past. No, no, he doesn't. If he chooses not to sleep with you because you've had a hundred men, that's a consequence you got to live with because not every man wants to be with a woman who has been so widely out there. And there is this myth that if a girl sleeps with a guy, a lot of men, that she has more experience in the bedroom. That's just stupid. They're not stupid. The thought is stupid. Because when I say something is stupid, that means you have the knowledge. You're choosing not to use it. It makes some sense for a girl to go gain experience in the bedroom to have sex with the only person they're ever going to have sex with for the rest of their life. <coughs> If you're marrying the person out of love and um, and now you're in the marriage for duty, love, and everything else that comes with it, why does it matter if you have experience in the bedroom? Why would you go get experience from another other men to have experience with the one man you're going to spend the rest of your life with? That's just dumb. It doesn't matter at that point. You know, it, but people think that when you get into a marriage, it's going to be like, man, the sex wasn't all oh, this and all that. And we got to be spontaneous like porn. Uh, no, you don't. You don't. You don't have to get out there and flip her in this way, flip her out this way. Um, what they talk about blowing a girl's back out. Um, just stuff like that. Just being an absolute sexual animal in the bedroom. It's just dumb. I mean, because once you reduce marriage down to, man, the sex has to be great. Man, it's it's already over, buddy. Because it's going to be marriages where maybe the sex isn't that great. Maybe, maybe sex is just a means to the end, which is to have a kid, which is what it should be. Sometimes if you're the, the goal of having sex is to have a baby. So if it's not great, if it's not the mo the best pleasure you've had in your life, you can live without buddy. I'm sorry, but we were not created as human beings for us to have the ultimate pleasure. 
we're our lives are supposed to be a sacrifice to one another so if you're not getting the best pleasure in your life you don't orgasm every single time or something you may have to do that part yourself if the, if the man can't get it done and there's nothing wrong with that now there's nothing wrong with having a conversation and being like hey you know maybe we can do this maybe we can do that to get it there and vice versa for the men but it shouldn't be a deal breaker it shouldn't be man we're not gonna have sex because it doesn't feel good to me the point of sex is to have a baby that's the point of sex you know um and obviously we there's other stuff we could talk about that i know some people have questions about and we'll get into that one day and i know that's going to be a tough conversation to have but we'll have it but this is not that day but having sex is meant to have a baby that's the point of it so there's no there's no reason to um say that your marriage is failing because the sex isn't that great because there's only one goal like did you have a baby nope well i mean this sex wasn't really successful then you know it there, there maybe the pleasure part was there but the only other reason is to have a baby and if the baby if your wife ends up getting pregnant the goal was succeeded it wasn't just about pleasure it's about having the baby and now there is a baby being born congratulations you have succeeded at having sex you know now obviously there is an intimacy that comes with having uh sex and stuff like that and it's important and that's why when it comes to body count the more you give yourself away to other people who didn't deserve it um the more that's going to affect your marriage the more the more bodies you go through the more sex does become less meaningful to you because when a woman says she just had sex with 100 guys or something like that there's no way she had intimacy and was in love with 100 men and that's how women sometimes treat having sex they think they want to have this man mentality like when men say the same thing like men say well i mean sex was just sex and there may be some truth to that sometimes a man could go out and have sex and it's not a emotional thing for him he's simply just trying to get off you know um but at the same time i would say this to the men as well men if you're going out there and having sex with every girl and just taking her along for the ride that's not right either you shouldn't be having sex with multiple women because that's multiple women's lives that you're changing forever in whatever capacity that may be whether you're her first or you're her 30th you know the point is you're still giving your piece of yourself away you're giving away the children that you have in you know in your body uh, and giving those children away to a woman or putting it putting your your sperm into a, a condom or your sperm into a girl who's not your wife you're 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 wasting um life that way so you shouldn't be going out there and having sex with a bunch of girls just to be having sex with a bunch of girls just to get off that's not the point once again of that the mechanism of having sex is to have a child so your body count going up shouldn't give you some status it shouldn't make you better than other men your body count should also matter you should keep it obviously zero is ideal unto your wife but don't go out bragging about how you had sex with 10 12 8 9 a billion girls uh, even though that's rarely gonna happen for most men uh, just the way the world's set up these days because most women are gonna go for the most attractive men but if you're the average guy still don't think getting having sex with a really hot girl one time means anything it, that body doesn't mean anything isn't it disgusting how we even explain sex now is you got a body how many bodies what's your body count isn't that gross sounding like how many bodies did you get like it's those are human beings you know that right those, those, those aren't those aren't sex dolls those aren't uh kills in modern, modern warfare those are real people that you're really having sex with and you're saying it's about oh, how many bodies do you have you mean how many human beings did you um take an intimate part of away how many hearts did you break how many people's lives did you change forever in one form or another? That's what it really is. It's not, oh, how many bodies did you get? No, those aren't, those aren't, you know, it's, we, it's easy to get caught up in the main character syndrome. I got it. It's very easy to think that you're the most important person in the world and everybody else is just an NPC. Everybody else is just a part of your world. So you're having sex with these people and they don't really mean anything to you. We've got to stop thinking like that, men and women. These aren't bodies that you're getting ha having sex with. These are human beings with souls that you're having sex with. Real people you'll change forever. Real people who may yet something led to that sex. They got vulnerable. They opened themselves up to you. 
whether they're just whoring around like some people say being 304s or maybe they they just wanted to maybe they thought it was going to complete them at the same time these are human beings man i i understand how hard it is man i get it with porn being so rampant and instagram and facebook and all these sites they show booty and they show uh sexual body parts all the time as if they're a joke you see girls twerking videos and it's, it's just a normal thing now right you see girls uh, get you see girls getting drunk and getting humped by another girl this is just a regular thing you see men doing the same thing looking at girls butts and making jokes of it or making a joke about how he had a he just had sex with his girl and all that kind of stuff and they make a video about it it's so funny i get it how 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 easy it is to see people as nothing but in the what is going on with this instrumental i think i think over but in the end it doesn't really matter these are human beings you're really having sex with and until you can finally see that does body count matter of course but you really got to ask yourself do these people even matter to me think about that for a second do do body counts matter do the bodies matter to you if not what are you doing if these are people you're just having sex with just to have status or to just climax or just to have fun then you need to ask yourself do people really matter to me because apparently they do not if you're just having sex with any person willy nilly something to think about peace